<laughs> That's outrageous. Welcome back to the Late Show, folks. Um, you know, you're going to know my next guest's work, but you don't know him by face, probably. He won an Oscar for his makeup work on Harry and the Hendersons. He created that, that monster. You've seen his work in Star Wars, The Howling, uh, Michael Jackson's thriller, American Werewolf in London, which he also won an Academy Award for, uh, Beauty and the Beast, and, and so many more uh, to name. Please welcome Hollywood's monster maker, Rick Baker. Yeah, the, the monster maker of Hollywood. You know, uh, Rick, when we, when we see these, these monsters that you create, it, it's, um, uh, I have to wonder what's going on inside of a mind like yours. <laughs> I wondered that a lot myself, actually. You know? now, this, is, this is not something that, that you can go to school for, is it? Is it? I pretty much taught it myself. It, it really started from me being a fan of monster movies. I like I liked monster movies on TV when I was a kid, uh -huh. so I said, that's, that's what I want to do. And so did you start when you were very young? Or? I started about age 10. I decided that's the direction I was going to go with my life. I was going to make monsters for a living. Oh, how, did you, how, do you, how do you decide that when you're 10 years old? You, you I don't know, I, I was, pick up I really, things from your mom's kitchen or something? And I did a little bit of that stuff, but I, I really felt fortunate that I had that direction. You know, I really yeah. know, knew what I wanted to do as a child. Uh -huh. yeah, it, uh, what were some of your very first monsters, or, or what did you do when you were a kid? That you... uh, sim I started simply. I was fortunate that I had a creative father who, I asked him, you know, who, who does this stuff? And he said, well, a makeup artist. You know, so. I said, well, how do they do it? And he goes, well, grease paint, nose putty. And so I got some nose putty and put it on my face. Okay. And some grease paint, did vampires and simple stuff. And then progressed to making masks when I was about 13. Did you ever freak out your teachers with scars or anything? <laughs> yeah, in fact, uh, I went through a whole period. I was a very shy kid. And, and something that fascinated me about makeup is when I had myself made up, that I could do things I couldn't do normally. Oh. But also, I liked fooling people. And like a 10-year-old Frankenstein didn't fool anybody. You know, they no, didn't no, bite. of course not. No. So the first time I put a gash on my hand and showed my mother, she had responded. And I said, hey, this is good. You know? <laughs> so I yeah. went through, uh, you know, I, got a, I got a response. So I went through uh, all the kids in the neighborhood. And I, I put third-degree burns and all these horrible things and put bullet holes in myself and laid in the street. And, <laughs> oh. and uh, it just turned out that I... You know, I wasn't allowed in a lot of houses in the neighborhood, so I decided maybe this wasn't a good thing to do. Yeah, well, at least your, your mother's uh, seeing you make some dough on this deal now, so that, <laughs> yeah, that's well, it all right. Yeah, paid off, yeah. What was your, do you remember your first paying job when somebody said they'd like to actually pay you to, to well, goof the, off like that? The first job I had really was not quite makeup work. I worked at a place called Cloakie Productions that do Gumby. I don't know if people, I'm sure, know Gumby. Oh, Gumby. Yeah. Oh. Gumby and Pokey? Gumby and Pokey. Oh, yeah. 20 pound Pokey. Yeah. And they also did a kid's religious show called Davy and Goliath. And, and this oh, happened, yeah. Oh, you know, sure. I remember that. Davy, yeah. you know, God's everywhere. He always says that. So, um, but Davy was never, you didn't never have he was stars not or anything. No, 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 no. No blood. You know, I kept trying, can we put a little blood on him here? Said, no, no, no. <laughs> Could we bloody his nose or anything? That was my first job. That was your first yeah, How about I, your uh, first movie? The first movie was great. It was, <laughs> I was a student at the time, and it was a film called The Octo Man. Octoman. I'm sure everybody's seen it in the audience. It, mm. Uh, mm. It, uh, it's about this octopus man creature. And uh, so I mean, they gave me like 500 bucks and in, in, in a few weeks to prepare it. And I built this ridiculous rubber suit. And they made this ridiculous movie in 10 days. And oh, my. That was my start. That was your big start. Yeah. Now, can we take a look at some? I know you brought some things with us. Oh, yeah. So I want to take a look at some of the, uh, the things you've created. Yeah, sure. All right. You didn't bring Octoman. You didn't bring Octoman? No, no. You left that home? Yeah. I have a mind to send you back there and get him. All right, now these are, uh, which way should we start here? You want to start down this way? Okay, now what is, what is this one? This is something I actually just did for fun. I just thought I'd bring it along because I thought it was kind of visual. Um, this is something you do for fun? <laughs> it actually kind of started as a dare. I, I, I was working with a, a makeup artist uh, named Greg Canham, who hmm. actually does the Werewolf TV series on Fox. Okay. And uh, he said, oh, I hear you're such a fast sculptor. Why don't you do something over lunch? So I, on lunch period, I started this sculpture. No, I didn't completely finish it like this, but this was uh, well, about 15 years ago that I Good did this. Good grief. I just recently made a, had a mold made of it and just painted it up more like a bronze. It's just a fiberglass cast. Oh, I think it looked good on anybody's mantle. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> and, all right, now what, what have we got over here? This? This one, this one I think I recognize. Isn't this one from yeah, Thriller? Yeah, this was uh, Michael Jackson's cat monster in the Thriller video. Okay. Right, you can see that. This is just a fiberglass casting of it, but uh, that's what he looked like in the, in the Thriller makeup. It was a foam rubber appliance glued to his face. And you have, you have kind of revolutionized something they call transformation with, without actually doing cuts. So you can make the, the monster do things 
Well, the camera is still moving, yeah, isn't that right? Yeah, we this thing called the change head where it's actually, we make a physical likeness of the actor's face, and uh -huh. it, it, it changes and distorts and, 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 and turns into a wolf or whatever it is you want it to be. Well, so. can you have, like, whiskers come out and, whiskers and that kind of grow, thing? Yeah, in fact, there's whiskers that grow on, on the Michael Jackson thing, which actually didn't work very well. But <laughs> oh, okay. And what is this one now? This one? This was uh, the wolf creature from American Werewolf in London. Oh, yeah, this okay. Is what the, we started out with the change heads and it ended up to be, to be this guy here. Uh -huh. this, it's pretty old. It's actually holding up pretty well for it. The, part of the problem with this stuff is the rubber deteriorates so quickly. It, it, oh, really? Yeah, it doesn't last for long. Now, you also created the, uh, the character for the, uh, what's the, the series that's on Beauty and the Beast? Yeah, Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. And, and there's a story about this in that you had to make him sexy or something? Yeah, it was interesting. Was... They, they came to me and they said, we want this beast. We're doing this modern day Beauty and the Beast. Uh -huh. And we want this beast and we want it to be a beast, but it, women have to be attracted to it. I said, okay, I always get this stuff. And, and you showed him this one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> said, no, okay. that's right. But I always get this. I said, it has to be the most horrifying thing in the world, but, but you got to love it, you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. Um, so I said, okay. And so I did some drawings and did some paintings, and I, I, I came up with a concept that eventually became Vincent. And I said, I like this, and I showed it to the people. And and been real pleased with the response. Yeah. I mean, I get letters. Uh, Ron Perlman, who plays Vincent, gets letters. And, and, and a lot of women are in love with this character. Yeah, not me, though. No, it doesn't do that much for me. There's also a brand new movie that you have out uh, th there's something out there. You've created a creature a, for this. Yeah, a TV movie. It's going to be on real soon. Okay, and, and you're kind of proud of the, about this character, aren't you? Uh, well, it was the thing that was a challenge with this. I haven't done a lot of TV. Uh, the challenge with TV is getting it done quickly. Yeah, you know? everything's in a hurry. Yeah, 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 I was real yeah. surprised. And, and a feature to do a similar creature, we'd have about six months, and we'd, this we had about six weeks. So. Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, we've enjoyed your monsters, and I'm sure you'll continue to scare us. Oh, do we want to see Harry? Here? Well, I think we're about out of time, but I think people recognize this one from Harry and the Hendersons. Yeah, this was Harry, the big yeah. creature from Harry and the Hendersons that Kevin Peter Hall played. Uh -huh. And we use his eyes in here. Uh -huh. Kevin looks out there. And then it's got some kind of a battery or something back there, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a radio control movements of part of his face. Kevin operated the jaw and did what he could do with his eyes, and we moved the, the lips with by radio control. Okay. And this was his foot. That's why they called him Bigfoot. Oh, I see. Quite, quite well, maybe, maybe I could slip it on here. Uh, I don't think you'll want to. I don't <laughs> think I'd want to. All right, Rick Baker, thank you for joining us here. Yeah, Hollywood's Monster Maker. We'll be right back, folks.